Hello everybody, so today we will be custom roaming the Samsung Galaxy J5 2016. So this uh, this Android phone is running, the Samsung is running Android 7.1.1 Nougat on Samsung Experience 8.5. And we will install Android 10 Lineage OS 17.1. So to do that. Let's firstly unlock the bootloader. Well, I already have developer settings. Let's turn them on. And unlock the bootloader. And enable USB debugging. Yep. So, that's what we want to do with the phone. Now, let's go ahead and turn it off. Put it into download mode by pressing volume down, power and the home button. Now that it's in the download mode, we want to press volume up and connect the cable. Now that our phone is connected with our computer, we can proceed with the computer. Now to flash TWRP on our device, we need to firstly open Odin. Once it's open and our device is detected, we need to put the TWRP file onto the AP slot. Double click and it will put it there. Once we press start, it's going to start flashing TWRP on our phone. Once we press start, we will see this and and it will reset. Now, I haven't put it to boot into recovery, so it will boot normally. So, I will boot it to recovery now. Now that we have booted to recovery and our phone is connected to the computer via the micro USB cable, we can continue the process on the computer. But before we do that, we need, we need to wipe first format data. Let's type yes here. We want to format everything. Go back. Wipe again. Advanced wipe. And cache and system. So wipe. Now I want to go to advanced, ADB sideload and swipe to start sideload. We need to open adb.exe and open the command prompt of this directory. Now we need to type adb sideload and drag the lineage OS 17.1 file onto our command prompt. Once it's done, we can put focus again on the command prompt and press enter. Once we press enter, it's going to start the process of flashing the, TW, the Lineage OS 17.1. Now it's started, we can sit and wait until it's done. Now, it might duplicate it a couple times, the command, it might be duplicated, but that's because it wants us to show the percentage of it. It's a normal, so don't worry. And here on the phone we can start seeing a progress bar, which means that this process is doing good. So, this might be done before the progress bar here, hits 50% but it's no it's a normal process so once it's done you want to reboot to reboot to system 
and swipe to reboot. Now ignore that warning which said no OS installed, it's normal. Now we are booting into Lineage OS, your device might boot loop a couple, a couple of times if you're doing this for the first time, but mine boots straight into Lineage OS. Now, you might be wondering, I didn't install gapps, how will I install apps? So, these are, I'm going to give you some alternatives for uh, the Google services. So, Aurora Store for Google Play, New Pipe for YouTube, and any browser you want for the, the eternal, or the eternal alternative of Google Chrome. Anyway, this did it right here, and we are in Lineage OS. Let me go through the setup real quick. And once you're done, you have successfully booted into Lineage OS 17.110. Now this process involves many Samsung phones, not just this phone. So if you have, let's say, an S7 or an S6 or an A5 from the same ta uh, from the same year, you then you can do you can safely do this process. Just just select a ROM that is compatible with your phone. Anyway, so this was the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.